Hey everyone, so we got an email from Blue Eddy, so we're gonna go over that now and go through what they asked us to do. So I'm just gonna read off the email real quick and let you all know what they said. So as you can see from the video, the system works fine when you connect the first battery pack. From this, we can deduce that the battery pack at the top of the video should be fine, the anomaly only occurs when you connect the second B300S battery pack, so we can suspect that there is a problem with the B300S battery pack underneath. You can remove the good one and try with the below battery pack in the video alone. Try with another battery expansion port. If still report these faults, please do not use it again. This battery pack has problems. Please contact our customer service staff, provide the serial number code, and we will, re we will replace the battery pack for you with a new one. That's pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and go through and do that right now. So we're going to take this off. So we'll move the good one out of the way. Okay, so now we just have the bad one here, and just for the fun of it, I'm going to take a multimeter to the output port on this as it sits without plugging the cable in to see if we have any output voltage right now. All right, so our battery one port says 52.9 volts. Check the bottom one, but I'm sure it's gonna be the same. Yeah, so 52.9. And actually, I'm going to look at the good one right now and do the same thing and see if it has output voltage like this, which I'm guessing it does not. All right, so this is our good battery pack. So we're going to do the same thing now, battery one. So this does have 2.6 volts coming out of it, as you can see there, which is odd. Maybe someone can comment and tell me why it would have 2.6 volts coming out. But regardless, it's definitely not 52 and we'll do the bottom one now. So the same thing, 2.6 volts. So there's definitely not output voltage on this the same way there is on the, the one that we suspect is bad. So we'll go through, I'll hook the cable up now. Um, I fully expect to have voltage at the cable as well, but knowing that this unlock and lock is actually a switch for the power, I'm gonna plug this in to the battery and then check the other end of the cable before we turn the lock on just to see if there's still output voltage with this turned to the unlock position. So we're gonna do battery one, like the owner's manual recommends. That's still just insanely tight. I think it's on there. All right, so we're gonna lock that. And now we're gonna go through on this and check the pins on here with this in the unlocked position. So there is output voltage there as well, even with it in the unlocked position. So previously we had plugged this battery into the bottom port because it was the lower battery and the good battery was on top, but they suggested that you plug a different or plug it into a different battery expansion port. So we're gonna put it into the top here. Definitely, definitely arced. And now we're gonna lock it. So the screen's on, this is on, now it's beeping. The lower battery is still not on, so that does confirm that there's an issue with this battery that we are not seeing with this one. So there's something wrong with this. We didn't turn the battery on. Uh, we didn't push the power button on this at all. As soon as we plugged this in, this unit came on, the screen's on. Um, and nothing else is on. So it did the same thing with just this battery that it did when the good battery was also hooked up. Because when we hooked the good battery up, none of this happened. It was only when we plugged in this, this lower battery. You know, the video wasn't to bash them by any means. It was just to try and bring awareness because I knew this was a, a newer product and uh, they have issues from time to time. All right, so obviously this battery has problems. Uh, it's got output voltage when it's off and the other battery does not. 
Uh, so we're going to send the serial number over to Blue Eddy, and it sounds like they're going to ship out a replacement. So when that comes in, I'll do a follow-up video to this follow-up video to see if it's showing the same kind of symptoms or if it's acting like the one that seems to be working completely fine. Uh, it is nice to see a company back up their products. You know, the customer service side of things is arguably more important than the quality of the product because you can have a really great product, but if you don't back it up and if things go wrong with it and then you're just gone, you never, you never follow up or help people out after they made that purchase, uh, you're not going to stay in business for very long. People don't appreciate that and word travels for sure that, you know, you don't back up your stuff. So they've built a reputation. Uh, they're really well known in this industry and there's a total saturation of solar generators on the market right now. There's thousands of different options. So customer service is going to be a standout in that saturated market you know the backing up of the products is going to make a big big difference for all of the people who could be depending on this to keep their basement dry or keep their lights on i mean it's it's critical that this thing operates as described because when you buy it you're expecting it to do a certain thing and in a lot of cases it is i wouldn't say life or death but very important that it, it works correctly i will follow up uh, when they ship out a replacement battery and we'll go from there that makes sense.